In a village called Ramapuram, there lived a landlord named Ramanatham. He had a beautiful garden where he used to grow different variety flowers. Since a very long time, Ranga Rao the gardener was working in Ramanatham's farm. Ranga Rao had a very bad attitude. However, in whichever way he behaved with others coming to the garden, as his owner loved the garden, he used to take care of it very well. So, even Ramanatham showed affection towards Ranga Rao. Taking this as advantage, Ranga Rao used to behave badly with others and he used to do fraud and the people who were cheated by him could not say anything to the Jamindar as they were afraid of the Jamindar. A merchant named Viraya had a donkey. On his donkey, he used to place all different colored clothes and used to go around all villages and sell them. One day, Viraya reached Ramapuram and as usual, he started selling the clothes in the market. Ranga Rao came there, saw the clothes and he started bargaining with him. Ranga Rao said, Look, not one or two. I want everything. Tell me the final price. I want to buy everything. Viraya was very happy and said, For all of it, it would be 100 rupees. But Ranga Rao made the final deal for 90 rupees and gave him the money. After receiving the money, Viraya was about to put down the clothes bag torn from the donkey. Then suddenly Ranga Rao said, What are you doing? I said everything. Leave the donkey along with the clothes and go. Viraya said, I was selling the clothes and the amount which I said is only for clothes and not the donkey. This donkey is just like my family member. He was with me in all good and bad times. I am doing business with the help of this donkey. I cannot give you my donkey. Sorry sir. If you are not okay with this, I shall return your money back. Listening to this, Ranga Rao started saying, What mess are you creating? Do you know who am I? I work at Jamindar. Come, let's go to the Jamindar and explain what happened and let him take the decision and let him punish. Listening to this, Viraya pleaded and said, Why to bother Jamindar for such a small issue? You are the wise gentleman. You only take the wise decision. As Ranga Rao has already planned to take the clothes along the donkey, he did not care about Viraya and said that there will be no more discussions or bargaining. Accept the money which I gave and leave the donkey along the clothes. Viraya expected that someone would support him and help him. But as the villagers knew about Ranga Rao and the Jamindar, no one came forward and Viraya stood helpless. As there was nothing to do, Viraya handed over the clothes along the donkey and left by seeing the donkey in pain. The donkey understood the cheating done to his owner. His owner used to love him very much. As he was leaving him, he saw the grief and pain in his owner's eyes. He also felt very sad and decided to teach a lesson to the fickle-minded gardener. Ranga Rao was very happy on buying the donkey for such a low price and started home with the clothes and the donkey. As the donkey decided to teach a lesson, he followed Ranga Rao silently. Slowly, it started getting dark. He gave some food to the donkey and went happily to rest. But the happiness did not last for a long. The donkey started screaming very loudly. Ranga Rao was stunned and suddenly woke up from his sleep. He went to the donkey, pampered him and made him sleep and after the donkey had slept, he came back and slept. After some time, the donkey again started screaming loudly. Ranga Rao again went to the donkey, made him sleep and came back and slept. This went on all night. Poor Ranga Rao could not have a proper sleep. Ranga Rao thought that as it was new for the donkey, it is doing like this and thought as the days pass, it surely get adjusted. But days passed, there was no change in the donkey's behavior. Ranga Rao on seeing the donkey thought that if he spent sleepless nights like this, his health would get disturbed. So 
He went to the donkey, took it and went near the garden where he used to work and tied the donkey to a rod and left it overnight and went home. He thought that as today there will be no disturbance and he could sleep peacefully. As he did not sleep for a long time, he went to the bed early and had good enough sleep and woke up fresh. After having a good sleep, he wanted to go see the donkey and get him back and started to him. As he reached the garden, he was shocked and started shivering. All the flowers in the garden were on the floor. The donkey cut his rope and spoiled the garden. He did not know what to do. He was scared what the Javindar would say if he sees this. He was very afraid. Meanwhile, the Javindar arrived. Seeing the garden, the Javindar became very angry and shouted on Rangarao. The landlord fired Rangarao from his duty as a gardener. Rangarao said to himself that Javindar never scolded him so badly. Only because he got the donkey on cheating upon his owner, the donkey taught him a lesson and lost his job. Rangarao realized his mistake and wanted to return the donkey to Viraya and said back to him. Rangarao searched for Viraya and finally went to Viraya's house and returned the donkey. He also apologized for his mistakes. Viraya was very happy for getting his donkey back. And the donkey was also happy for coming back to his owner.